Welcome to GloballyTraining.com. GloballyTraining.com offers online courses covering various software technologies. New courses are added on a regular basis. You can email us at training at GloballyTraining.com or you can call us at 732-588-6564. Hello, in this uh, short video, we will look at the process of uh, downloading HP's uh, UFT 12.0 software. Uh, you have two options. Uh, you can go to one of the internet's uh, search engine and search for HP UFT 12.0 trial download or you can go to hp.com as well. On the home page, click on the software link. Now, click on the free and trial software link. Here, make sure you click on the on-premise software because this option allows you to download the software onto your machine for the installation. Once you click there, do a control F on your browser and search for the software. Unified Functional. Okay, I already got it. So it's Unified Functional Testing Software 12.0 and click on the download link that's corresponding to the software. Click on that link. So uh, HP has presented you with the Terms of Service uh, page where you need to click on I Agree button to download the software. Sometimes, however, you, uh, I mean, HP.com uh, puts you on a uh, registration page. Primarily, it's not a registration page, but it's a page where you would fill in your uh, name, email address, phone number to get to this screen. Um, so if that's the case go ahead and fill all that click on the next button then you'll land up on this page here all you do is click on I agree uh, link and that should take you to the uh, download page on the download page you have uh, two options if you want to use HP download manager you can that's a default option but if you don't have it installed this will you know uh, prompt you to download the software, install it before you can download, or you can use this drop down button, select using standard download, meaning you click on it, the, the browser will start downloading it. And on the download itself, you have four options. The first two are actual softwares. The first one, the very first one, is the zipped version of the software which is approximately 1.5 gigs. And the second one is a compressed version of the same software, which is a, kind of half the size, 720 MB. And the third and the fourth are a couple of documents. It's a welcome document and a readme document. Depending on your preference, you can pick either the zipped version or the compressed version. Uh, for the sake of this video, I wanna click on the second one and that should uh, prompt me to save the software. Once you're on this prompt, go ahead and click Save and your browser should start downloading it depending on the type of browser and the way it's configured. You know, it may prompt you to save at some location or it may download to browser's default download location. Anyway, this is how you download the software. Thank you.